Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome along to ANZ Stadium. It is State of Origin night tonight, and the first match of the night will feature the New South Wales Blues up against the Queensland Maroons in the under-16s. We've had a little bit of rain in Sydney in the last 24 hours, but as we look outside onto the field, the ground is in immaculate condition. As I say, good evening to my co-commentator here tonight, Johnny Gibbs. Great to be here, Peter, and the good news is the rain has stayed away. There's been plenty of rain in and around Sydney this afternoon, but uh, just ahead of kickoff, the ground looks an absolute picture. So we should see some good rugby league in these boys, the under-16s. They'll, uh, they'll mix it, but what they can do is really attack, which I'm looking forward to. OK, well, before the teams come out onto the field, let's go through the sides as they'll take to the field tonight in the under-16s. I'll go through the Queensland Maroons. At fullback is Mackenzie Baker. On the wings is Daisha Penair and also Jonathan Seofelli. The centre three quarters of Jack Patterson and Ione Sayuli. The six and seven is Corey Pakes and Tanner Boyd. The 13 is David Fafita. The 12 is Thomas Gilbert. Gilbert, Ethan Bullimore in 11, Georgie Brand in 10, Zach McCormack from the Gold Coast Greens, he'll go to hooker tonight in jersey number 9, and Gareth Smith from the Mackay Cutters in jersey 8. The interchange bench for the Queensland Moros looks this way, Lazarus Sewer in 14, Hamilton Tyre in 15, Tino Far Sewer Mala Arwi. Now we'll have a bit of fun with that Gibbsy tonight. Well we will, and uh, as a matter of fact a lot of these names you want to get your, uh, not just your lips, but you want to get your mind around it because in years to come, these will be the names that will be dominating in the National Rugby League. Well, we can't miss that one. Tino Fasua Mala Awi. So he's from the Central Queensland Crows and the interchange of number 17, Blake Campbell. And of course, they're coached by Kirk Richards. Gibsy, take us through the New South Wales blue side. Yeah, the fullback is John Paul Nora from the Parramatta Reels and uh, on the wing, William Finney Power from Parramatta. Bronson Cherry from Cronulla is in the centres with Max Lehman of the Manly Seagulls. On the other wing is Cliff Leotoa from Parramatta. Parramatta won the Harold Matthews and uh, they've got plenty of representation. They're very good players. The halves, Jock Madden is the 5'8 from the Newcastle Knights. And it's an all Newcastle halves pairing. Phoenix Crossland is the halfback from Newcastle. Matthew Dragazic is uh, from the Canberra Raiders. He's a prop alongside Franklin Pelle, the other prop from Cronulla. And Kyle Schneider from Parramatta is a hooker. The second row is a Sean Bloor from Penrith Panthers. Now, I know that he's coming to the game with a bit of a quadricep problem. And uh, Brad Fittler, the coach, is looking to get some time out of him. Mateo Totola from the Balmain Tigers is Bloor's second row partner. The lock forward is Brock Gardner of the Newcastle Knights. And the bench, Isaac Longmuir of Cronulla, Tom Baker of Newcastle, Lindsay Smith in jumper 16 of the Penrith Panthers, and Egan Butcher from the South Sydney Rabbitohs is their number 17, the last man on the bench. The head coach is Brad Fittler, and the assistant coach, the ogre, Mark O'Mealy. Mark O'Mealy and Brad Fittler, that's a combination. And actually speaking to Brad Fittler throughout the week, Gibbsy, he believes defence will be the key to victory. If they can start well and hit with a bit of stick and win the ruck, he believes, they'll be OK tonight at ANZ Stadium. Whilst for the Queensland Maroons, well, they've been in camp all week up at Royal Pines on the Gold Coast. So it's a big event for both of these sides, especially for Queensland. As you mentioned, last year they won the same match by 10 points to 6. But Kirk Richards said that... If you go through last year's side and this year's side, there's not one player that went around in 2015. So it's all new, it's all fresh, and uh, we'll see how the young guys go as they are about to come out onto a very lush, a little bit wet, a little bit dewy, ANZ Stadium. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to draw a line on these sides, isn't it? Because of his uh, many fine individual players. But let's uh, just have a, a look at the national final between uh, the Cyril Connell Cup winners, and that was Townsville up against the Harold Matthews winners, Parramatta, and that was a win to Parramatta, 32 zip. So that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. And uh, there's plenty of those Parramatta players filtered through this. Uh, New South Wales side tonight to meet Queensland. And of course in the corresponding competition here in New South Wales a lot of these blues come from the Harold Matthews and an unbelievable stat, the Parramatta Reels actually have won the competition many a time, I think they've won it over 20 years, about 18 times, but last year they went through the whole season undefeated until they met Cronulla in the grand final and guess what Don't couldn't guess. come up with it couldn't come up with it. But they won this year. But they won this year undefeated. And you know what? There isn't a, you, you have to be 18 to play first grade rugby league now. 
if that wasn't the case, some of these kids from Parramatta in the under-16s would be putting their ages up because they might get a run with Parramatta before the year's out. That's exactly right. Well, the Queensland side, it's a very strong team, as Gibbsy mentioned. The majority of players have actually come through the new Queensland Academy of Sport program up there. And outside of that, a lot of kids have really put their hands up and have really impressed in the Queensland Cyril Connell Cup. Well, here come the Queenslanders. They're going to be running left to right out here at ANZ Stadium with Peter Jolly and Johnny Gibbs in the nswrl.com and qrl.com commentary box. We await for the New South Wales Blues. Isn't it exciting? It's a great moment for these kids as well. Uh, they're talented in their own right, but to be playing the curtain raiser to uh, the big one, which gets underway, State of Origin 1 for season 2016. So this is a big moment for these kids. It's uh, not the biggest crowd because a lot of those uh, people will be still uh, filtering into the ground as the night goes on, but gee whiz. What a time to be playing here, using the ANZ Stadium surface before the, uh, the, the, big, the big dance, which will get underway at about 8.25. Well, a lot of these kids out here, you know, a lot of them, I guess, would have flown to play a game of football for the very first time. And then coming out here to the spectacular stadium, which is ANZ Stadium, we're expecting a crowd later tonight of about 80,000. I'd say we'd have maybe five, ten thousand 10,000 in here. But like last year, towards the back end of the second half, these kids were playing in, with a crowd in excess of 50, 60,000. So they must be really looking forward to that. Here come the New South Wales Blues, led, of course, out onto the field by their captain in Kyle Snyder. He's a former Newcastle junior, and he still goes to the Hunter Sports High. He left the Knights last year, didn't quite go to plan there, and he's been in the squad for Parramatta for the first time this year, and of course winning the Premiership in the Harold Matthews. So a quick tip tonight, Gibbsy, where's your heart leaning? Oh, I'm going to go for New South Wales, and I'm just drawing a line through Parramatta and how dominant they were in the national final. It'll be Queensland to kick off, New South Wales to defend the southern end of ANZ Stadium for this under-16s big state of origin clash. So we're almost set. 30-minute halves, of course, in the under-16s. The curtain raiser to the state of origin. And we're underway, and the Blues feel that right on their own in goal area, and they come charging back, and the first men to bring it back, of course, is the big number prop in number eight in Drazizic. So they approach the halfway line. Good start here for them. They're out towards their own 20-metre line. This is the first set of six here on state of origin night, 2016 with Peter Jolly and Johnny Gibbs out to the 40 metre line they come they're going to go through the middle of the field nice pass away wasn't it and they find the possession of Brock Gardner he's just short of the halfway line here they'll kick just outside the 40 that's Crossland from Newcastle puts in a big kick downfield and Daisha Panair from the North Devils is with it Gibbsy and he's going to be brought down 24 metres out from his own goal line good opening set there by the Blues they did a very good job some short interchange passing they weren't taking any chances they made good ground then a good kick so it's their chance now to defend and Queensland need to uh, just control the ball like New South Wales did but an opening start which is a beauty and New South Wales are too enthusiastic inside the 10 and a penalty goes to Queensland 40 metres out from their own line There's Georgie Brand there from the South Logan Magpies was able to get a, a penalty for his side now this is Corey Parks with the ball he's going to shoot for touch and find the line on the eastern side of ANZ Stadium so a great start coming up here for the Maroons they're on the 40 metre line of New South Wales you're on nswrl.com.au and taking our telecast up through Queensland on qrl.com.au. Welcome to State of Origin Night 2016. The Maroons now with the ball. This is Pakes. He goes wider. He finds Gilbert and he's going to be dropped down there by Madden. He'll play it back now. 12 metres out. Here they come. Pakes. He takes the line on and he's dropped down there by Madden. Nil all on the scoreboard. Will that stay that way for much longer? Boyd, he now sets it up there for the charging number 10, and that's Georgie Brand. 
Last tackle, they've been under pressure. Look for the kick here, Gibbsy. Will they dribble it? Will they go through the back line? Will they run it? Now, they'll have to offload it. Will that pass go forward? Pen Air for the line, and he's bundled in the touch. Oh, good work there by Dave Fafita. A very good offload. Got the ball out to Dasher Pen Air. He dashed it for the corner, Dash Air, but unfortunately just was caught by the cover defence. So two and a half minutes gone, nearly three minutes. New South Wales under pressure, but they hang on and they'll have the ball now after the handover, 10 metres away from their own line. So the Blues, they haven't been able to get outside their own half yet, have they? The Maroons haven't let them. Let's see how far they can come in this set. They're going through the middle, earning the right to go through the middle and then they'll come to the edge. That was the game plan from Fittler. He mentioned that is what they were targeting throughout the week. That's Dragizic from Canberra. As they approach their own 40 metre line, three Maroons in the, over the top. Gilbert was one of them. Getting to their feet. They're just going to kick outside the 40 again. Crossland puts boot to the ball. And Baker, he's got to go back and field it right on his own in-goal area. He's got space in front of him, the fullback, and he's going to be dropped into the tattle there by Newcastle. Jock Madden, 10 metres out, try 20 metres out from the Maroons' goal line. Yeah, kicking early in the tackle count there. Good decision. They just want to contain Queensland. What their issue was last set was that they gave away a penalty, so they've got to be very careful not to do that. And they've also got to watch the man they're kicking it to, Mackenzie Baker from the Townsville Blackhawks. He's a superstar, can break tackle at ease. So this is South's Logan Magpies. David Fafita been in blockbusting form. He can break a tackle and get an offload away. Look for him tonight for the Maroons. Nice little kick in towards the 10 metre zone of New South Wales. They're coming through. Oh, Penair. He had a chance but he just couldn't quite get to the ball first. And the Blues come away with a 10 out from their own goal line. Wow, they were a little little bit shy then, weren't they? New South Wales to grab the ball. A good little kick there from uh, from the halfback, Tanner Boyd. And it was just retrieved, just in the nick of time by New South Wales. So Queensland has had New South Wales under a fair bit of pressure. But five minutes down, still nil all in this New South Wales-Queensland under-16 state of origin clash. As far as the pendulum goes, Queensland have certainly had all the possession in New South Wales territory, haven't they? This is Cliffy Leotua, the leading try scorer in the Harold Matthews this year from the Parramatta Eels. They've told me to watch out for him, electrifying pace as well as you'd expect. As the Blues come to the 40 metre line here, the curtain raiser, the big clash later tonight between the Maroons and the Blues. So the Maroons now, speaking of them, this is Townsville Blackhawks' Mackenzie Baker. And he's going to be wrapped up just short of the halfway line. So they're about to go over the halfway line yet again in the first half here on State of Origin night. This is Jack Patterson from the North Devils. Wrapped up there by Snyder. Another penalty to the Maroons. This time 40 out from the Blues goal line. Yeah, too slow there. And uh, all of them, uh, Pelé was off very slow. Snyder was involved. And I think they were just trying to slow the... Th slow to play the ball down because they've been under enormous pressure but what they have to do Queensland they have to make this ascendancy and this superiority early count at the moment they've got no points it's still nil all and we've been going for six minutes and they've been under enormous pressure can they hang on as we mentioned the Maroons they've been in camp all week at Royal Pines they've had a relaxing week they're primed, they're prepped, and they're ready to play, according to There's an error. Richards. There's an error, though, Gibbsy. Oh, that's let, the, that's let New South Wales right off the hook there. Maybe and too relaxed. Well, yes. Well, the New South Wales boys, they've been doing it tough down at the academy at uh, Narrabeen. So not quite as salubrious as Royal Pines. But, uh, gee whiz, that was a bad error. Just uh, too much haste there by the hooker, uh, Zach McCormack, trying to pick the ball up, but lost the ball. And as a result... A relieving scrum feed in New South Wales, 10 metres away from their own line. Centre field, New South Wales repeating, defending the southern end of ANZ Stadium. So Madden from the Newcastle Knights gets it away again to Parramatta's Cliffy Latua. And that's the 20 metre line coming out of the southern end here on State of Origin Night here. First penalty to the Blues. This will help them, no doubt. Well, that'll be a confidence booster. Uh, Peter, because they have been under pressure. A little error there from Queensland has given them an opportunity. They get the ball back, and there was plenty of uh, 
enthusiasm for New South Wales and now they've got a penalty. So for the first time, they'll carry the ball into the half of Queensland. We've been going for eight minutes. It's still nil all in this uh, State of Origin under-16s game. I know there's a big crowd up in Newcastle taking this tonight at West at Mayfield in the auditorium. They're cheering their boys home. This is William Finney Power going into dummy half. He's electric. He's crafty and talented. 19 tries in nine games for Parramatta this season alone in the Harold Matthews. This is Sean Bloor from the Panthers. He's dynamic. Look for a big game from him. That's Madden. That's Crossland. Out the back it comes to Nora. Lehman. He links up with Cherry. Cherry beat one. And the Shark from the Shire. He's brought down 12 metres out. Here come New South Wales. Back to Drazizic. Very skillful. Knows his job and loves getting his hands dirty. That's Snyder. Back to Crossland. Oh, he's lost the ball. The Newcastle Knight. Well, I say he was in two minds there, Gibbsy. Literally, he was in two minds. You're exactly right. He didn't know whether to run or kick it. They knew that the, the uh, Queensland defence was stretched. In the end, he did nothing. He just dropped it, which is unfortunate. But that's good pressure. So both sides have been under pressure and have handled it pretty well. Of course, Crossland is a shining light up in Newcastle. He's a very talented kick, but he's got a fantastic kicking game on him. He's thinking of the team there because he thought, well, I can probably get through myself. That might be a bit selfish. I should kick. But in the end, he did neither because he, got, he did get confused. He'll be cross with himself. Looking to redeem it later in the match. Marone's kicking inside the 40. Straight down to the fullback again in Nora. Loves to make up ground up the middle. As I said, an electric fullback for Parramatta. He loves the big occasion. What, an, what a stage he's got tonight. State of origin night. Back to Cliffy Leotua. The handling's been quite good. There's been a couple of little errors and uh, too slow there. The referee's been consistent and that's a good thing. So it'll be good field position here for New South Wales. The good news is the surface is holding up pretty well. Gibbs, you just get the feeling the pendulum is slightly swinging back to the Blues' favour here. I think so, Peter. And one of the things here is this Queensland side, just looking at them, you know, casting our eye over them, they do look a little bit bigger. They look more mobile in New South Wales, a bit smaller and maybe mobile. So this defensive effort might tell. So Dragizic on the 30 metre line. Chance again for New South Wales here to strike. They're getting closer with every run, aren't they? The Maroons get off them. Snyder, he offloads the pass. Back to Gardner. Good run. And the Newcastle Knights on his back. Here come the Blues for the second time tonight. Bloor under a bit of a, an injury cloud. Got a crook quadricep. Can't be as dynamic as he usually is, but he's still looking threatening on the edge. He's a real good chance for the Blues. They storm forward. Pele, plenty of skill. Can we see his skill on display here? He's held up. Yeah, good defence. Look at those Maroons there. Half a dozen of them under big Franklin Pele who tried to go over the top. Then he tried to burrow underneath. It's not that soft. So you'll have to play the ball. Franklin, 10 metres out, but still tackles up their sleeve. So plays it back to Snyder, the captain of the Blues. Across the back line, Madden, Crossland. He's going to put one in the end goal area. Pressure for Queensland. No pressure in the end at all. They're back into the field of play before they're put away by JP Nora. Yeah, Desha Penair. Very good work by Desha Penair. A dangerous kick put in there by Crossland, but well, well uh, retrieved there by the winger on that far side of the field, the eastern side of the field. So Queensland, it's just up and back. It's, it's good footy. It's tight. Tight as a drum. 12 minutes has gone. So quick. It only feels like 30 seconds here at ANZ Stadium. That's Fafita. They cross the 30. Running it forward is Boyd. Takes the line on. Here come the Queenslanders. Over the halfway line. Before they're wrapped up there. By Lehman. Working the short edge. Boyd. He decides to bang it straight down the throat though of Nora. His positional play at the back as fullback has been absolutely outstanding in the first 12 minutes of this half. Yeah, faultless. And I'm not quite sure there why Tanner Boyd wanted to put that kick in because running the ball, he's been creating problems. He should have given the ball. Oh, no, because the winger was unmarked there. Cliff Leotoa might have been down the western flank, but the player held the ball. This is Bronson Cherry. 
Big strong kid. The second one coming out of the Cronulla Shire. So this game, holes developing up the middle. Who's going to capitalise for the first try? We're still locked up at nil all here. They're storming their way inside the Maroons territory. They're on the last tackle now, New South Wales. That's Snyder. They're going to kick. Look for the air raid off the boot of Madden. Where's Baker? There he is now. Great take, great take under pressure. The ball was floating and away he goes. Don't give him an inch or he'll take it. Oh, what about the big palm on Finney Power? Cop that, he said. Beautiful take under pressure. That ball was really floating around. That was a dangerous kick put up there by Madden and he took it superbly. So this is Jake Patterson playing it back. So not much in it here. In the curtain raise of the State of Origin night 2016. They've got to spread it out a bit. They've got to get a little bit more lateral, give the ball a little, little bit more width, Queensland, because when they've done that, they've created some issues. That's their bustling prop in Garrett Smith. He goes the whole 60 minutes in this under 16s. Here's the kick going into touch. Will it? Will it be cut off? It's cut off by Nora. And he's been finished off by Corey Pakes. Yeah, that was a very good kick there by uh, Pakes too. And he chased and he kept the ball in. So Nora had to take the ball, thought it might go into touch. So they come away the short side. Second tackle, so they're contained. They're still inside their 20. Now they're outside it. And that's Lindsay Smith. He's off the interchange bench from Penrith. Another penalty. Well, that's around the fourth penalty for New South Wales in this first half. So they're getting the better of the penalty counts here, Gibbsy. Yeah, the referee is uh, being very tough on uh, hands on the ball. So he's given them plenty of opportunity to not do that. That's been three penalties, two to New South Wales and uh, one to Queensland for trying to slow the play of the ball with hands on the ball. And it is annoying. And the referee, they'll get the, they'll, the penny will drop sooner or later, Peter, that they can't do it. So they take the tap and roll over the halfway line through their lock forward in Gardner. And St. Paul's up in Burigal. Very quick. And he's got that offload in him. Just like this man taking a forward in Taylor. That's the 30 metre line. Plays it back. Snyder getting it away now to Gardner. That's his second touch. Put away there by Hamilton Tyre. 20 metres out from the Maroons line. Drag is it. Gets it away. Backer comes now. Are they building towards something out here? Bloor. Only a metre out from crossing the Queensland line. 15 out from half time. Nil all. There's a gap here. Going to it is Drazic. Should have given it. Last tackle. Still on. They've got numbers out here. Crossland. Oh, what a shot. Picked up and driven backwards there by Patterson. And Talola. He got the ball away. They kick to the end goal there and they'll score. What a great try. Bronson Cherry has come up with an absolute phenomenal try from absolutely nothing. They've come up with the first four-pointer. Oh, 15 to go in the first half. New South Wales first blood. 4-0 right here on nswrl.com.au. And right next to the post, and he uh, salutes to his friends there over in that Eastern Grandstand. Well done, Bronson Cherry, because nothing was doing. They had an opportunity. Some great defence, some punishing defence out wide by Queensland. And what that did is hurt New South Wales back on the inside. It was the last play. Ten metres out. He put in a death grubber. Mackenzie Baker came, but it was too late. And Cherry is over for the opening try of State of Origin in the under-16s. New South Wales 4, Queensland nil. Kick to come from right next to the post, Pete. And the Maroons' only player within Kui was Deja and Pen Air. Well, he was looking up to the air thinking, wow, how quick was that? That was just a little bit of desperation there by New South Wales. They were forced into that because of the good defence by Queensland. But if you're forced into a corner, you've got to back your way out. And that's what Cherry did. He did it superbly. Very good try. What they've got to do though, New South Wales, I think they're too compressed, the Queensland defence. If they keep giving the ball on the outside, they will have some luck. Well, it was all Queensland, wasn't it, for the first 20 minutes. They had their opportunities. They just couldn't get over the line. It's been all the Blues in the last five, six minutes, and now they've been able to turn the scoreboard into their favour. They lead by six points to nil as the kick went sailing right between the black dots. And I think it's, uh, it's also pertinent, Peter, that uh, that was on the back of a couple of penalties for hands in the ruck. 
they got good field position as a result. The defence from Queensland have been pretty good, but it was a piece of individual brilliance by the Cronulla Sharks centre three quarter, Bronson Cherry, which has given that six points lead to nil for New South Wales over Queensland. And we're uh, 12 and a half minutes before half time. It's got the all, in, you know, the ingredients of a crack of a match. So I hope you can stay with us right here where we are taking our live and exclusive coverage tonight in New South Wales through nswrl.com.au and up through Queensland through qrl.com.au. What a cracker of a curtain raiser right here in front of a crowd which is building nicely here. Up around 20,000 in here at the moment at ANZ Stadium. As the Blues now come outside their own 30, up towards the 40 metre line here. They'll work the right. That's Crossland. Inside the 40, it could be a 40 20. Now comes in field. Mackenzie Baker will retrieve three metres out from his own line and good straight line of defence there. Good chase for the Blues. Just with Crossland, I caught up with him at Newcastle training before the Harold Matthews Grand Final. He was born in Wellington. He's a New Zealander and he moved over to Newcastle when he was one year of age. So. A very cross mix of multiculturalism at the Newcastle Knights. Just like every other team these days in the NRL competition. So the equation now, it's all in front of the team with the ball in the Maroons. That's Sayuli from the Magpies. The Queensland speed machine, they like to call him. That's Boyd offloading there to David Fafita from the South Logan Magpies. So 10 minutes remaining in the first half. Boyd pumps the ball downfield. This man been in superb nick all season for Parramatta. And so far in this match, he's been faultless, Gibbsy. Yeah, both fullbacks have been very good. John Paul Nora and also Mackenzie Baker have had plenty of work to do. And uh, both have handled their duties with aplomb. New South Wales now working away. They're 25 metres away from their own line. 10 before the break. They hold a good lead, 6-0. They want to uh, concentrate and not drop the ball, though, because if they give Queensland an opportunity, they'll take it. So Drag Isaac right on his own 40 metre line here. Six points to nil. Snyder, super fit and strong, pumped the ball downfield. And the Maroons here come away with it again through the Black Hawks' Mackenzie Baker right on their own 40 metre line. Yeah, well positioned there. He would have liked to have found the grass there, Kyle Schneider, but the good positioning of Mackenzie Baker meant he took it on the full and was on the fly. So down to the New South Wales 40 metre line. Not one, not two, but three. Blues in there to finish him off. That was forward. I thought Pratt referee said play on. So they've got away with that if it was forward. He's looking out also on that eastern side, the referee. They're jumping the gun. New South Wales are a little bit offside. Here's Tanner Boyd to the line. Great pass. Now here's the kick off the boot of Baker. Nora's in trouble. Can he get back into the field of play? Baker's coming through. Along there with Patterson. No hope in the world. Goal line dropout. Yeah, good play there. Wasn't a Tanner Boyd there. And they chased hard. And as a result, a really good opportunity. The first line dropout of uh, the under-16 State of Origin match. So it's been tight, but that's good to get a repeat set of six. Really good play. So there's Newcastle's Jock Madden on screen. The leading point scorer for Newcastle in the Harold Matthews competition this year. As I said, he's got a good kicking game on him. And that's evident right there. The goal line dropout sailed down to the 40 metre mark. And Georgie Brand from the Logan Magpies. He's one of four selected from that part of the world to represent the Queenslanders here tonight. That's Bully Mall. He's from the North Devils. Hard hitting second rower as evident right here. That's McCormick. He's from the Gold Coast Greens. Looking for his half back in Boyd. Giving it away to Fafita. Put down there from Lindsay Smith from the Panthers. State of Origin night 2016. Opportunity here now for Queensland. Bully Moore. He's wrapped up. Centre of the field. I reckon they're going to turn the ball back on the inside. They've got to change the angle a bit because they're too easily read here at the moment. New South Wales defence is handling it. C.O. Felly for the line. He's lost the football, Gibbsy. 
right on the New South Wales goal line. His eyes lit up. He thought he could get to the line there. But uh, Jonathan Seofelli was just a little bit short. And as I said, New South Wales defence on the perimeter, or just on the edge, has been pretty good. If they turn the ball back on the inside, they might have a bit of luck. But David Fafita is very dangerous on the edge. But New South Wales have got three blokes on him. So every time they run there on the edge, he's well tackled. So if they put someone back on the inside, New South Wales will be a little bit undermanned. Johnny Gibbs in the commentary box tonight. We thank him for his time and his analysis of this game. As we see now, the Blues coming away with it. This is Cliffy Leatua out to his own 20 metre line. He's limping there too, there, Gibbsy. Got a bit of an ankle twist there. He fell awkwardly in that tackle. And this is a real pleasure and privilege to be uh, watching these budding young stars strut their stuff for New South Wales and Queensland. And we've got a real tight game. Seven minutes before the break, it's the Blues 6, Queensland nil. Galore being picked up and driven back towards the southern end of the field and he's just lost it. The ball's just spilled out here. Chance now before the break for Queensland. Good pressure there and uh, it was Georgie Brand who was in there with some uh, heavy lifting. New South Wales to try and come up with an offload but just trying to do too much. As a result, the mistake was made. 45 metres out from the New South Wales line. Great field position here for Queensland. Plenty of chatter going on there. I'm not sure. Which, I don't think they're sure which way they're going to go. They're a little. They're still playing a little bit nervous. Queensland. They're going to trust their instincts. Oh, they've put it down on the first tackle. Pakes, the Toowoomba Clydesdales, and he's just going on with it here with Nora, the fullback from Parramatta. That's frustration. A little bit of push and shove there. You could see they they were quite indecisive. One was talking, and someone else was. They didn't know which side they were going to go on. Uh, the referees and the touch judges having a little bit of a, a difficult time here trying to separate them, but that was from the scrum. You can't afford to do that at this level. And Corey Pakes, the ball was fired to him and he uh, just put it down. So both touch judges have come in off their respective touch lines and it's time off here. Don't think much happened. Five minutes to go. The clock's, the clock's still running, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, I don't think they need to do much. Just pack a scrum down, give New South Wales a feed, and let's get on with it. Well, throughout the week, New South Wales Welfare and Education Manager Greg Nichols put the Junior Blues through a survey session last Saturday that helped the young players understand and acknowledge their own emotions as rugby league players in 2016 as 16-year-olds. I guess that's something new and a great initiative. Uh, but in actual fact, Gibbs, is we just got a bit of a, a lapse here. The psychologists, it's a survey that pretty much breaks down their emotions. And Nichols was sort of saying uh, the big question the players really struggled with was their own ability to understand and express emotion. Yep. So, uh, you know, maybe paid off there they would have had to keep their emotions in check there and not go on with it so yeah, maybe that, that study session's paid off. Yeah, let's hope so. There was a bit of push and shove and no one really stepped out of line and uh uh, after a little while they've had the scrum and it's play on you've got to handle things you've got to keep your emotions in check otherwise the game can get away from you frustration can't take over new south wales now on the attack there's a run Whew. good tackle gilbert picked up madden and he's been able to force the error on the five eighth and that's what they needed plenty of back slapping queensland they're not giving up there's no give up as we know in the queenslanders albeit new south wales lead six nil four minutes before the break but gee they'd love a score before half time peter so we've got four minutes before the siren goes here in the curtain razor been quick been a, i was going to say it's been a very fast frenetic match hasn't it i know they're not as heavy as the uh the, uh, the big boys, but uh, they're hardly making an impression on his surface, which is fantastic news. Three in the tackle there. One of them was Smith there from the Blues. That's Baker. Runs straight into Lindsay Smith. They hit hard, don't they? Some brutality out there, right? isn't there? That's the halfway line. There's the perfect statement that we were just saying. That's the perfect definition of hitting hard. Jolting in that tackle there. So that's the 15, that's Hamilton Tyre. He's on the field off the interchange bench. Comes from the Townsville Blackhawks. They're going to go for a air raid here. The ball may bounce. Comes back to the Queenslanders. 
Juggled there by C.O. Fell. He's awfully touched from going into touch. Last been... tackle. So that was on the, that was the uh, the fourth tackle that they made that kick. Here's Madison Baker putting up a kick. Well, Mackenzie where's that, Baker. Where's that kick gone, Gibbsy? Over the dead ball line. It's gone nearly to Wollongong. So unfortunately, that was just good pressure. A little bit of frustration there. I don't know why Madden was kicking. Uh, should I say uh, Corey Pakes was kicking on uh, the fourth tackle and not the fifth. They got the ball back and then they came up with another kick and it was a poor one from Mackenzie Baker. So as a result, the last chance of this first half could go to the Blues. If they give the ball some width, oh, look out. There could be a shepherd there, almost. Well, Bronson Cherry, he nearly gave himself up there, didn't he? No advantage gain and he did stop. It's getting a little bit, a little bit scrappy towards the end of the first half. So two minutes remaining. Was that ball stripped or just lost cold? Stripped in the end, but I think he blew his whistle first, didn't he? Did you hear I, a whistle? Yeah, I think I think that was on the uh, touch judge on that eastern side of the field who was uh, well positioned and has given a nod to the referee who has changed his mind to just a lost ball to stripped. And as a result, whew, two minutes to go. They're going to have a penalty kick to the eastern side of the field, a fine touch. They'll be 35 metres or so out. That's a pretty good kick. That's exactly what they are. 35 metres out with a full set. So this is going to be uh, all hands on deck for Queensland to try and stop New South Wales extending their lead. That's Bronson Cherry. Maybe, if they're not thinking try, maybe field goal. 7-0 lead going into half time might be just as good as the try. Absolutely. So the Blues here, let's stick with them. Let's see what they've got in their repertoire of twick tricks. This is Bloor. He offloads the ball. Finney Power still going. And he's been dragged back. That's the 10 metre line. They're getting closer. Comes back to Madden. This is Crossland. Goes out the back. Nora. He's been driven into the lush, dewy turf. That's Longmuir. He'll kick. He'll kick all right, but Penair attacks it and takes it dead. Yeah, a minute to go before half time, so they'll get another opportunity. The referee is telling the Queenslanders to get in position to take the drop out, so they will get a couple of tackles, 45 seconds. They're wasting as much time as they can, and why wouldn't they? They've been under pressure. I'm not quite sure whether the, that was the right option from Isaac Longmoor then, because they had a couple of tackles up their sleeve, and now, with the clock winding down, we've only, have, we've only got 30 seconds. There's a whistle, so they will get a couple of cracks at them. So the curtain raiser to the big clash at 8.10 tonight. So far, New South Wales leading by six points to nil here in the under 16s. 12 seconds remaining in the first half. That's Bloor, big palm, still going. One more play, they should snap for field goal or put a bomb up, give themselves an opportunity. So Crossland wants it. He won't get it though. He's got it now. He wanted a field goal. Now he's going to put him on attacking rate for four. That's Cherry. It's the last tackle. Does he know about it? Maybe he doesn't. He's ended up taking the tackle. So what an entertaining finish to the first half of under 16s here in the Curtain Razor on State of Origin 9 2016. We go to the break with the Blues leading the Maroons by six points to nil. Yeah, it's a tight game and uh, Cherry the only try scorer and the uh, conversion by Jock Madden. And as Brad Fittler said, defence will win this game, this State of Origin under 16s clash. Well, they've defended well because Queensland have not been able to come up with a try. It's nil to Queensland, but six, the six to New South Wales was sort of against the run of play because they're well contained a piece of individual brilliance by Bronson Cherry who on the last tackle after being herded in field put the grubber kick in chased his own kick and scored a try so 6-0 New South Wales over Queensland half time in the State of Origin under 16's match okay so what we might do we might take a break and come back for the second 40 who will go on and take second 30 I should say how easy does one forget sometimes 30 minutes in the under 16s at half time at 6 0 in favour of New South Wales.
Gives you he's the highlights of the first half. This was the first try in the corner for the Queensland. Oh, well, no, this was the no nearly, try. Yeah, nearly yeah. try, yeah, Finney Power. Yeah, Deja Penair was uh, so close, and there was some good defence out there. Now, look at this. It was great defence. Great defence there by Jack Patterson. And what happened, they came back on the inside. Nothing doing. There was plenty of Maroons there. But Cherry just put a little death kick in behind them. He chased. And there he is embraced by his teammates. So that was the only score of the first half. We've seen some entertaining football, but there's been some really good last-ditch desperate defence. We saw uh, C.O. Felly go so close on that occasion. So as it is, we've got the players coming back onto the field in the second half. It is New South Wales defending the northern end for the second half of this under-16 state of origin game. Queensland, the southern end. And we've had the one try. That's scored by Bronson Cherry and the conversion by Jock Madden. So it's 6-0. So it's still tight. The game is well and truly delicately poised in the balance, Peter. It's a nice crowd building in here for our curtain raiser. I'd say in the excess of nearly 20, 25,000 in here at the moment, Gibbsy. And this crowd will increase. Hopefully the nerves won't get to the players. This is a tight clash. Six all, Queensland. It's in front of them as we get underway for the second half here. You're live and exclusive tonight on nswrl.com.au and qrl.com.au up through Queensland. Welcome to the live stream. Isn't it fascinating in this day and age that you can actually live stream anywhere, anytime? Yeah, and that's uh, good for these kids who are strutting their stuff on the big stage tonight. Georgie Brand, good run from the kickoff. So 30 metres from a couple of tackles. Queensland will, uh, the longer the game goes, need to take a couple of chances. And as I said, I keep saying they should, they've got to change their angles up a little bit because the New South Wales defence has been well marshalled and has handled things well so far. So that's Georgie Brand on his back. Right on the halfway line here. That's McCormick. Back there now to Boyd. He's going to drill this downfield. And the ball just goes spewing into touch here, 10 metres out. And Nora was in two minds, I guess, whether to play it or whether to He had to a see nibble. It. He had a nibble. He had. If, he, if he was a fishy, he would have had a little, you would have been tugging the line, but he pulled the hands back. And as a result, they will get the scrum through. But that's a good set. That's a good settling set for Queensland to open this second half. Nice little bit of sportsmanship there shown by both halfbacks there in Boyd and Crossland. As the ball comes in and comes out and taking it away is Bronson Cherry. As we said in the top of the program, very strong kid. Evident there, very hard to put on his back. And we saw, saw the skills that he's got as well with that great grubber kick for his uh, individual try. Now this is Tom Baker. Junior club is the Scone Thoroughbreds. A lot of Newcastle Knights have come out of the Scone Thoroughbreds, of course. Darren Albert. So I'd like someone as fast as that. There might be an injury here, out here on this uh, left-hand side, the western side of the field. Uh, the eastern side, should I say. Uh, Cliff Leotoa might have uh, hurt himself here, and he's lost the ball. Queensland get a great opportunity right on the halfway. Two minutes down in the second half, and it's still... New South Wales 6, Queensland 0. That was the score at half time. We've only had that one point scoring in the first half, or it was a converted try. It was a try to Bronson Cherry. So here it is, right on the half halfway, and the ball will be fed here by uh, Boyd. It goes on the outside. So, oh, he was standing out wide of there, uh, Tanner Boyd. He didn't get the ball, though. Pakes fed the ball. So here they are, 40 metres away from the New South Wales line. Georgie Brand's doing a mountain of work. Here he is again. Enormous workload for the Queenslanders here. That's McCormick. Away now. Down to the 30 and beyond. Finally put away again by Baker. So Queensland looking to strike back here. Early days of the second half. C.O. Felly wrapped up by Finney Power. It's gone close on a couple of times, uh, occasions, C.O. Felly. Not quite getting there. Pakes. Now away to Gilbert. Wrapped up there by Lindsay Smith. Last tackle. McCormick wanting a penalty. Didn't come. Pakes. Boyd. For feeder. On the last tackle. Got a good ball out the back to Baker. 
changeover right on the goal line of the Blues. Yeah, some back slapping there from New South Wales. That was a great defensive set there by New South Wales. And Queensland deciding to run the ball on the last tackle. The feeder, always dangerous. He came up with the offload, but the New South Wales waves of defence kept coming. And as a result, they take the ball away from their own line. Ten metres away on the first tackle. Oh, this game's been bub- driven backwards. Oh. Like Jack Patterson. There he is there. On screen from the North Devils. So this game bubbling away nicely. That's Bronson Sherry. Again, driven back. There from Thomas Gilbert. Assisted there by Pakes. Wasn't happy there as he got up and played the ball back. Out towards their own. 30 metre line they come. Six points to nil. The Junior Blues here. On State of Origin Night 2016. We're live, we're exclusive, and that is Crossland. Banging it downfield. This is Baker. He's got space in front of him. Tries to put on a bit of a step. But Finney Power wraps him up and swings him sideways into the ground. In his face, wasn't he? Finney Power wasn't going to give him an inch. What a name, Finney Power. Coming away with it now. This is Penn Air. Back that comes this time to McCormick. Away to Patterson. Wrapped up there from Lindsay Smith again. So that's the halfway line. McCormick, Boyd, goes himself. And he's been pushed into the ground there by Baker once more. And Crossland around the chest area. So this time Baker decides to put in the kick from fullback. And JP Nora charges straight back into Boyd. And sends his mouth guard flying out of his mouth there on his own 30-metre line. Yes, and jolting defence. Here's a good run on the fringe here by Tom Baker. He works it away, so they're 35 metres away. You've got Isaac Longmuir playing out there. He's had plenty of game time. Here he is showing the ball. Darts through from dummy half. He's playing hooker. And you've got in the back row now Kyle Schneider. So both those halves are uh, getting some game time together. That's Lehman giving it away to Cherry. He's hard to stop. He is. Look, got away from Fafita. He got away from about three before Penair says, come back here. Assisted by McCormick. That's Baker again. Charging down to the 30-metre line of the Maroons. We're coming up to 20 to 7 local time here. 6-0. New South Wales leading. Great hands there by Penair at the back before he can't get away there. Gibbsy from Longmuir. Yeah, Jock Madden, the uh, the big bomb, looking for an error. And there wasn't one forthcoming. So Queensland, under a fair bit of pressure here, they've lost the ball. They have lost the ball. And unfortunately, that was a strong run there by Jack Patterson. He's come up with some good defence. But on that occasion, he's lost the ball. So this is a golden opportunity. Only 23 minutes remaining in the match. New South Wales 6, Queensland nil, And this is premium field position. And the scrum, as you can see there, on your laptop or your iPad or smartphone, wherever you're choosing to view tonight's under-16s, smack bang right in the middle of ANZ Stadium. And you've got to be impressed with the surface here. For all the rain that we have had this afternoon, and it has stayed away for the duration of this match, the surface is pristine. It is beautiful. So Queensland here will be trying to defend their hearts out as Bronson Cherry... Is within 10 metres out from crossing the Maroons line. Longmuir sends it away. That's Bloor. Runs straight into Bullymore. Longmuir again in a dummy half. It's on the ground. It's gone halfway back to Newcastle. Scooped up by the Blues. And they're scooped up there by the longest man, as far as surnames go, in the Maroons outfit. Fasua Mala Awi. Try saying that 25 times. We better not, Gibbsy. No, Lindsay Smith plays the ball. Here's a good opportunity for the Blues out wide. They send it inside, though. The defence of Queensland is good on the inside. Last tackle again. Gee, there's been some desperate stuff from both sides. That's Longmuir. He kicks it in the end goal area. Baker's under pressure. He's back into the field of play. 
How good was that from their dynamic, their electrifying fullback? Oh, great reflexes. What about the reflexes? Because a little grubber kick into the end goal, it took a deflection, and that's always difficult. But uh, Mackenzie Baker knew it was a dangerous situation, desperately had to get the ball in the, into the uh, field of play and did so. Are you excited, Gibbsy? This I is am. a fantastic match. Well, I'll tell you what I'm excited about. I'm excited about the desperate defence. So both these sides don't want to give away the opportunity to win in the game because the way it's been, if New South Wales score another one, they're going to be hard to reel in. So Queensland acknowledge that and are coming up with some really desperate last-ditch defence. There's the ball driven by Corey Pakes down the throat of John Paul Nora. That's his own 40-metre line. Slow play the ball. Queensland didn't allow him a quick one. That's the halfway line they're about to go over. This is Finney Power. Living up to his surname, right there in attack. That's Lehman, picked up and driven into the ground there. From the 16 in Hamilton Tyre. Away to Snyder, he finds Smith. Wrapped up there by Fafita. Comes out the back door, Crossland dangerous, takes the line on and poleaxe into the turf from Gilbert. Last tackle again, Madden puts the bomb up. Pressure kick. They're coming up. What a catch. Are we at the rugby league or are we watching AFL? Uh, that's good good, good skills. Lots of these players are showing good skills. We gave them a wrap in the first half and they're still doing it in the second half. John Paul Nora and Mackenzie Baker, the, the opposition fullbacks, have been outstanding. So we've just ticked over the 10th minute of the second half. 20 minutes to go. Queensland down by a converted try. That's Boyd, takes it to the line. The 13 is with him, that is Fafita. Back to Boyd, and he's dropped down into the ground there. It was touched, so the uh, tackle count restarts, and as a result, Queensland get a good opportunity. That's a zero tackle now, and they're only 45 metres away from the New South Wales line. That's Fasua Malaawi with the ball playing it back. That's the 40 metre line they're trying to go straight through. That's Bullymore. They're getting closer. Even closer now with a penalty from right in front of the New South Wales goal line. So they're just going to take the tap and get on with it. It's an emergency. That's good. That's Garrett Smith. Plays long minutes. He'll need to do that today to lift the Queenslanders. Crunching tackle, he slipped into that tackle. So 10 metres away, the back row of Gilbert plays the ball. McCormick's with it. He goes himself. Out the back to Boyd. He turns it back to Pakes. Good work. At least they're throwing the ball back in the inside. And a good incision there, but good defence. Close to the line. Two metres away. Calling for it to come left. Boyd. Away to Fafita. Picked up and driven there by Lehman. That's McCormick. Backer comes down to Boyd. Fasua Mala always with it. Short on that far side. It is the last tackle. Oh, will they put it through the hands? They could get another penalty here. No, he's told to play the ball. So McCormick looks right. Away to Pakes. He finds Baker. There's a try coming in the corner. Theo Felly puts Queensland on the scoreboard. It's 6-4 with a kick to come. I like it. I like it. I like it because it was the last tackle. They had numbers and instead of just panicking and kicking the ball, they thought, no, we'll stick to what we know best. We've got the numbers and they threw it out. It went from the halfback beautifully. Good slick pass and uh, then on to C.O. Felly, but good, good on the inside. Look at that pass from the halfback. It's a beauty from the dummy half, Zach McCormack, and it was Mackenzie Baker who gave the death pass across the face of Ione Sayu Lee, and it went, it, went to, it went on the outside, and he was able to score Jonathan C.O. Felly. How close has he gone, C.O. Felly, on a couple of occasions? But what I liked then was the dummy half, Zach McCormack, the hooker, instead of thinking, well, no, let's... Let's do this sharp, let's do it precise, and they executed it perfectly. The ball went across the face of Sayu Lee, right onto the chest of CEO Felly, and they've scored right from the touchline now is Corey Pakes trying to convert to level things up. Well done, Queensland. Right out on the touchline. This to lock us up in the under-16s. 
do they come any tougher than this? Especially if you're a 16 year old. And he just waves the touch judges flags to the left. Good strike. He had a great strike on him. So we've got a ball game here, 16 minutes to go. Six points to four. Not much in it, but the Blues hanging on by two. They're young, they're young players, but they uh, had wise minds and uh, some experience showed then. And that was led by McCormack because they went to that eastern side. As I said, it would have been easy to kick. And when sides are frustrated, they do do that sometimes. They kick, but they just... The execution then was brilliant by Queensland. So 16 minutes remaining in the curtain raiser. They're storming onto the ball. They're lifting, are they, Queensland? I love the way Mackenzie Baker stormed into the back line as well. Fasua Mala are we? Offloading in the tackle. That's Baker. Baker still going. He's over the halfway line. Finally wrapped up by Pele. Queensland, good inroads through the middle of the ruck. Powering forward. That's Bullymore. McCorm That's McCormack dashing everywhere. He's doing everything now with real urgency. And his teammates are following. Penalty from right in front of the post. They've got to go for goal, don't they? Here, Gibbsy from right in front. Level it up. That's what they're going to do. <laughs> they're looking to the sideline. Surely they will. And uh, Pakes will have the shot at goal. Now we've gone to the rule book here. What if we got to tie it full time? Surely they don't go to golden point. That'll be it. I think in under 16s, the uh, norm would be uh, to just have a draw. So they'll be uh, joint, joint champions tonight. I'd like to see them go on, though. That'd be good because this is exciting. This is warming up. Looked as though New South Wales were going to get away and Queensland's hit back. In a moment, it's going to be level 16 all. We're still 15 to go. The seat is getting a bit warm, too. We've got a perfect view here. We could stay here all night. Absolutely. It's fantastic. I, I've got to say, Mackenzie Baker, every time he comes into the back line, something's, something's looking like happening. He's a, he's a superstar. He was the uh, player of the match in the uh, Cyril Connell Cup Grand Final as well. And uh, there's a conversion, so, or the penalty. Uh, it's six all. Six all with 15 to go. But in that game, it was Townsville who trailed, what, 18 nil just before half time. Mackenzie Baker, he brought them back into that game and he's doing it here for Queensland. So New South Wales, not in any rush to come back to get us back underway. What have we got on the scoreboard? 14 minutes to go. Plenty of chatter going on about New South Wales. They had things in control, but all of a sudden, Queensland, with some good play, have got the scoreboard level at 6 all. Keeping in mind that last year's match was 10 6 in yeah. favour of Queensland over New South Wales, so there's nothing between these two sides. So, Wednesday night football back underway on nswrl.com.au. And that's our favourite son out there for the Maroons, Tino, Tino Fasua Malaawi. Is that st is this stereo, this broadcast? Did it come through two, two channels? I'm not I sure. Sent somebody deaf, I know that. <laughs> Back then out of the Queenslanders, Garrett Smith lifting and needs to lift. Inspirational run down to the halfway line. Where will it come now? They're lining up to take it forward. That's Bullymore. And the Devils, big prop is on his back. 13 minutes to go. State of origin night. Back to Gilbert. Gilbert trying to get the ball away, but chose to take the tackle. Last tackle, 20 metres out. They might go for the bomb. No, they go short side. Look out. Here they go short side. That's Sayuli. And Sayuli will have to surrender the ball here. Gibbsy back to the Blues. Ten out from the Blues goal line. Another good set. And uh, during this ascendancy, Peter, you've got to be impressed with the Queensland Hanley. They've handled the ball really well. They haven't given a sniff to New South Wales. So New South Wales have to work it away from their own goal line. First tackle, they're ten metres out from their own line. Through Leotua. Look at the defence coming through here from Queensland. They're trying to stop them from progressing any further upfield. The Blues, they don't want anything of that though. They're trying to make inroads through the middle. They should shift the ball here. They should shift the ball because they could catch Queensland napping because nothing's happening up the middle of the field. Just short of their own 40 meter line. That's the fourth tackle here. The Blues and the Maroons locked up inside the 40 goes the kick. That's Penhair. 
He's got air in front of him. He's got acreage in front of him and runs straight in a cross land. And downstairs there was Egan Butcher. Good chase. Good take by Penn Air, but good chase as well. Out of dummy half goes Jack Peterson. Patterson. Towards halfway. 11 minutes to go. They go for a dig from dummy half. C.O. Felly stopped in his tracks there from Lindsay Smith. Back to McCormick. Now to Boyd. Now to Fafita. He's gone straight through. He takes on Nora. He's oh. got away to Penn Air. Oh, he's gone without it. Penn Air. Chance gone begging for Queensland. Celebrations here for New South Wales as they prevented the need certain try to Penn Air. Oh, what about the break though? On the edge, he's been threatening all night. And it was David Fafita who went straight through McCormack. Got the ball to Tanner. Tanner on the inside. See, the inside ball. That's what they've started to do. And they're having success, some success. He was looking for Mackenzie Baker. And then the last ditch defence by JP Nora was enough to put uh, Penn, uh, Penn Air off. So good break by Fafita, but it's come to nothing. Queensland, they lost a golden opportunity there. And New South Wales breathed a sigh of relief. So that's the 20 metre line they're coming away from. And Smith along there with Sayuli around the legs. They're approaching the 40 metre line now. New South Wales and Queensland locked up at six all. A nail biting game of rugby league on state of origin night. A penalty. We haven't seen many, but we've seen one now with 10 to go right on halfway. Hands on the ball again. Getting the hand under the ball and not releasing it, not allowing New South Wales to play the ball quickly. So exactly 10 to go. Six all. You couldn't have it set up any better, but that break by, from David Fafita, it should have been a try. That should have led to a try. Probably good defence because they got someone on the inside to mark Mackenzie Baker, and by the time the ball came to Penn Air, uh, there'd been a, there was a couple of players there that could spoil, and that's what happened in the end. Well, the Blues... Down inside the 20 metre zone of Queensland here. That's Smith. Wrapped really up offer. there by McCormack. Away now. Charging forward is Canberra's Dragizic. Back to Snyder. Away through the back line. The big number 11 has got it. That's Bloor. He offloads the ball. There's a chance out wide. Finney Power. He's over for New South Wales. He's in, in the corner. It's 10-6 with a kick to come. What a good offload out wide, though. New South Wales were just about buried. They got a penalty, and they've taken every opportunity to score that try. Beautiful play, because really it was gonna, not, not going to be happening. Kyle Schneider into dummy half, got to the halfback, and there on the outside was Sean Bloor. We said before that he was dangerous. He's playing this game just under a little bit of duress with a quadricep problem. But in the end, the ball went to Finney Power, and Finney Power is over. Good sharp ball also from Jock Madden. He played his part, but the offload from Sean Bloor, that was the key to that try. 10-6, New South Wales over Queensland. Nine to go, conversion to come now from the eastern touchline, southern end of ANZ Stadium in state of origin, under 16s. And that's Jock Madden with the kicking duties on the screen now. Good uh, ball by Jock Madden because he could have panicked. He could have gone yeah. himself after he got the good ball from Sean Bloor, but it, he set it up for Finney Power. What a year Finney Power has had. 19 tries in nine matches for Parramatta in the Harold Matthews. And a try that's put them to the front with this kick with an extra two points with a question mark. So Jock Madden right out on the eastern touch line in front of 40,000 people in here at ANZ Stadium as we count down to the big one at 8.10 tonight. The Queenslanders and the New South Wales Welshmen have arrived at ANZ Stadium. We're just getting the word. The bus has pulled up, Gibbsy. And Cooper Cronk, he's not limping. He's, he's here, ready to go, Cooper Cronk. And this surface has been magnificent. It's going to be a great match tonight. But we're going to get through this one. This has been a beauty. There it is from the touchline. Madden, he's converted. What a kick from the sideline. Jock Madden. If he's not setting up tries, Gibbsy, he's banging him over from all over the park. Well, he's played confidently, and that was good work because after Jock Madden had given the ball to Finney Power after receiving it from Sean Ball, 
he would have been full of adrenaline. He would have been pumped up. He said, this is my moment. Did you cometh the hour, cometh the man, and he's nailed it. And this is how he's done it. Look at that. Got down low and bingo. All his bingo numbers came at once. Yes, and that was uh, Sean Bloor, number 11, to number 6, Jock Madden, to number 2, Finney Power. If you've got that, get in the queue, you've won Lotto. Here's the kickoff. Oh, there's a mistake in goal. Now there's a double mistake by the Blues. <sighs> oh, Phoenix Crossland. He lost it first, and then the double whammy. Now, goal line dropout. Oh, Dragozic was back there as well, and uh, uh, Dragozic, really, he should have been able to wrap that up, I think. He thought the Crossland was going to take it. They went Crossland and mucked it up. He was a little bit slow to react to big prop forward. He's not used to taking off the dead ball line. He's used to getting the long run up oh, and Crossland. running onto it. So wow. Madden, Crossland went cross-eyed there. Right down to the 40-metre line now. Queensland charging back. Fasua Mala are we? Converted try behind. Five minutes to go and only 25 minutes out. The short side they go. Good run there. Good sharp run by Lazarus Sua. Drop down there from Egan Butcher. So Queensland now again through far Sua Maliawi. Plays it back there now to Sua with five minutes to go in the under 16s. That's Boyd. Away to Bullymore. Tried to get away from Finney Power. Plays it back. They cut out Smith to go to Boyd. Eight metres out, down by six. Sewer, back to Pakes. He kicked it in the end goal area. Nora, he's going to be pushed. Halfway back to the Northern Grandstand. Goal line dropout. More pressure coming up for the Blues. As we said, no give up. No give up in Queensland. Good kick there. A really good kick by Corey Pakes. And the chase from Queensland was determined and plenty of it. So as a result, JP Nora, as good as he's been going, he had no chance of getting the ball into the end goal. So a neat five minutes to go by the time they take this dropout, Peter. And the game is in the balance. And this is how they got the goal line dropout. Look at this defence. Good chase. Excellent chase. Pen Air just pushed Nora halfway back to the front row. To the kick. The goal line dropout's gone 50 on the fly. And charging their way back is Fafita. That's Sewer. Works it to the right hand side. That's Bullymore. They're making good ground. They just need a little bit of skill to get in behind the New South Wales line. Sewer again. He now sets up. Smith. He charges onto the ball. Options left, options right. Third tackle now for Queensland. That's Sewer. He now finds Boyd. Boyd now finds Fafita. Fafita bounced away from one. And he's going to be cleaned up there by Dragizic. Geez, dangerous Fafita. Boyd, he wants it. He's got it. He's got options out here. Back to Baker. They kick. They'll score. Panair. What a try. He came out of thin air. The referee's going to give it. That's a try. 12-10 with a kick to come. Oh, Penair said he didn't put the ball down. The referee thinks he did because that was a big difference. He tried to improve the position, which may be important in the end. But Sewer got into dummy half. He looked open. He thought, we'll go short side. And it went to the halfback, Tanner Boyd, who gave the ball to Mackenzie Baker, who put a kick in, and he took that brilliantly. Now, did he put the ball down there? I'm not quite sure. It was touch and go, but the referee had it under control. We'll watch it one more time on the replay here at ANZ Stadium. So it goes now to Mackenzie Baker. He kicks in. Pen air. Oh, no. He got it right. I, th he, he, I don't think he got it down until I, then. No. I th but it looked as though you can't blame the referee for that. He doesn't have the, you know, the luxury of a video referee decision or anything like that or the bunker. We're just doing that on the run. Here is a very important conversion. Take it away, Pete. So Pakes... Can he level us up from the touchline? He's missed it. Well, whilst there's life, there's hope, Gibbsy. What have we got? Two minutes to go. It's still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and I'm glad they're getting on with it, but it didn't look as though that that ball had been put down, put down by Penn Air. He looked as though he'd improved his position. Had the presence of mind to realise what is where the game is and the points and thought I'll improve. We'll see it again here. Mackenzie Baker kicks it. Here it goes to Penair. No, he doesn't put it down. 
That should have been play on. Good good work there by Penn Air. I can't be critical of the referee in that situation because it happened a million miles an hour. What a, what a good effort, though, because Tanner Boyd, you thought he was going to kick. He feigned a kick, gave the ball to Mackenzie Baker. He kicked, and the kick was perfect. I think it was JP Nora coming across but couldn't take the ball. So we've got a minute and a half to go, and it's Queensland trailing by just two points. So they've got to go 90 metres up the other end. They've got one minute and 25 seconds to do it. What a match. What a curtain raiser for the main fair. Brilliant match. The fans in here, over 40,000 of them. They've got their value already, and we haven't even seen the main event. And it may not even be over yet. That's Sua. Away now to Boyd. Great ball. Away to Fafita. He's still going for Fafita. He's been the standout for Fafita. She's been dangerous. He's been fantastic. Sua giving it away to Boyd. They go out wider. Juggled by Pakes. It's still on. Back to Gilbert. It comes back to Baker. And he's been flung sideways by Nora. Last tackle. 40 seconds to go. 12-10. Off the boot of Pakes. Massive kick. It's come back down for Queensland. It might be six to go. No. It's going to be a scrum, though. First knock on has gone against New South Wales. So Queensland scrum. 30 seconds to go. Look at this. They're only 12 metres away from the New South Wales line. New South Wales 12, Queensland 10. And the referee has blown time off with exactly 25 seconds to go. What can Tanner Boyd, the halfback, create here? He's looking to the open side. He's got players on the left. Mackenzie Baker's the man to go to. They've got to go open. And they put Fafita out there as well. You can be rest assured the ball will go the way of Fafita. Time on, here it is, 20 seconds to go. So that's Boyd putting it in. 18 seconds left. Pakes out the back to Baker. Baker goes out wide. C.O. fell has got to go back. It's play on, isn't it? Knock no, on. it's a knock on. Right call, right call. That's it. They're celebrating New South Wales. The clock will wind down. New South Wales have won the curtain race of the under-16s by 12 points to 10 over Queensland, who probably can find themselves unlucky. There's a bit of a stink on Peter. They're not happy. Not happy in the mix is Madden and Crossland from Newcastle. The 16 year olds. That's frustration and disappointment. As you said, they've got to keep their emotions in check. They've been practicing on that. They've had counseling sessions during the week and some education about that very thing. I know it's the end of the game and they would be disappointed. And they probably did get the rough end of the pineapple at the end of the game, but that's the way it goes. And New South Wales have won this match 12-10. So there's the celebrations here. We've come to the end of an absolute brilliant curtain raiser Everybody has played their heart out and congratulations to New South Wales. But let's not forget Queensland. They threw everything at them. So in the end, two tries apiece. The only thing difference, the only thing that separated both of these sides, Gibbsy, was the goal kicking. Yeah, and how important was that uh, sideline conversion by Jock Madden of William Finney Powell's try? That was a difference. Keeping in mind that just before that try by Finney Powell, which was ultimately converted from the sideline by Jock Madden, we had David Fafita roaring through the defence. Should have been scoring a try. In the end, they gave away a penalty. Good field position, and New South Wales have taken their opportunity. So we've had Finney Power scoring a try, and we had Cherry scoring in that first half. Bronson Cherry for Queensland. Uh, Ciafelli scored. Uh, Jonathan Ciafelli, he went close on a couple of occasions. And then we had Dasha Penair scoring. Uh, so two tries apiece, but it was the goal kicking of Josh Madden, uh, jo Josh Madden, Jock Madden, that made the difference. Up the Blues Origin. Hashtag on Twitter if you want to get involved in social media tonight. So 16s are over and now we will wait for the main event. And that should be an unbelievable clash. And of course that game is live and exclusive from 7.30 tonight on the Nine Network. Yeah, I just saw Kevy Walters down there, the coach of uh, Queensland. His first assignment as coach, so well done. So. A really good curtain raiser, thoroughly enjoyed that. There was uh, plenty of skill on show tonight between, by these under-16s from both New South Wales and Queensland. And that gives you an indication of how tight it was. There was only two points in it, two tries apiece. There was plenty of skill, as I say, but also there was plenty of toughness as well. Uh, both very resilient sides. And look out for a few of these names because we'll be hearing them in lights in the future.
And of course now in three, four weeks time, we move up to Suncorp Stadium for the 18s. And if this is anything they go by, what a ripper that's going to be, Gibbsy. Book your flight early. Yeah, fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed the broadcast tonight. Congratulations to New South Wales. They squeak home 12 points to 10 over a very brave Queensland. Okay, Johnny Gibbs, mate, absolute pleasure to work with you tonight. My first time and uh, we've had a bit of fun. It's been good fun and the, uh, the players, they put it on here and here they are. And that's good to see as well. Look at the Queenslanders embracing each other, uh, having a little bit of a chat there. But they're together and they'll get another opportunity. Okay then, thanks to Johnny Gibbs. Well, we've had an absolute ball here. Thanks to the players. An unbelievable spectacle here tonight at ANZ Stadium. We'll be back for Game 2 in a few weeks' time when Queensland host... Origin 2 and the curtain raiser up at the Old Lang Park will be Queensland's under-18s taking on New South Wales under-18s. Until then, good night from ANZ Stadium.